Uh, well, I uh, I was with Yoti in the, back in the day um, for a couple of years until I fell in love with um, a lady by the name of Vanessa, who is now my wife. We have four, four children. And um, she um, got pregnant with her first child, Jayla, and um, gave birth to our first child, and then I, we decided to marry in 1999. And then from 1999 to 2009, uh, my wife, Vanessa, prayed for me for 10 years because she grew up in a uh, Christian environment. Her, her parents is uh, Christians. Her mom was Christian, very, very faithful lady for many, many years. And um, yeah, and her dad as well. And um, she prayed for me and loved me into the kingdom of God. Praise God. And tell us a bit about how you got into ministry. How'd you become a pastor? <laughs> well, first and foremost, Jesus said that he chooses us, not us, amen, because he first loved us. And um, so he, he uh, chose me. I gave, I gave my life to Jesus in 2009. And uh, it hasn't been an um, easy road. I've been uh, prosecuted uh, in my community by uh, people for my faith because I preach the un uncompromising word of God one way. And um, yeah, it's, it's been a very, very hard yaga, hard road, but God is faithful. Amen. He's, he's always made a way for me and for my family through the ups and downs. Praise God. Now, I first met you in Melbourne at the Awakening Conference. You were hanging out with a buddy of mine, Paul McLaughlin, the watermelon farmer from Northern Territory. And uh, Paul said, you've got to meet this guy. You've got to do a History Makers with him. So I'm so glad to finally meet up with you. And, and you got a chance to open that conference. Tell us a bit about what you shared when you opened the uh, the conference at Marvel Stadium with, you know, tens of thousands of people there. Uh, yeah, that was a um, privilege of uh, standing up for our nation and representing, you know, Christ. That in Christ, all of us are one people. Amen. Amen. And um, I was a bit nervous, to be honest. <laughs> Praise God, there was about, I don't know, 50,000 people at that meeting. And um, yeah, I was a bit nervous. But God, when I was going up to um, up the stairs to um, meet up with Ben Fitzgerald, the Spirit of God just entered me and, and reminded me of Revelation 5, verse 9 and 10. Amen where it talks about that with his blood, he has purchased men from every tribe, language, and peoples. Amen. Amen. And the globe. And, and so, yeah, I felt confident. And, uh, yeah, and just started talking and preaching and, and talking about the one new man, that in Christ we, we are one, one people. Praise God. 